Hello, how are we all doing? Yes, we are back with another video, and this is the best oil and water you are going to see. In my opinion, this is with a normal deck of cards, but there is a bit of sleight of hand. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. I will go through uh, de great detail on every single flight. So, all that being said, let's jump into the trick. So here is what the trick looks like. It just uses four reds and four black cards. And what's going to happen is I'm going to place the red cards to one side and we're going to start with the blacks. So we're going to take one black and one red card. We're going to go black, red. We're going to do that again. Watch. We're going to go do very fair. Black, red, fair. We'll do it again. We're going to go black, red, black, and red. How fair is that? And all we have to do, like you know, oil and water don't mix. We have to wait a few seconds, and it's done. So over here, we have a red. Over here, we have a second red. That's the third red, and that is the four reds. And over here are the four blacks. So that is the first stage, but we're going to do this again. We did it with the uh, blacks this time. Now we're going to try it with the reds. So we're going to go very, very slowly. We're going to go black, red, fair. We're going to go again. We've got a black card, fair, red card. And now we're going to interlace these two black cards with the two red cards, just like this. And as soon as they touch, now over here, we have the four blacks, and over here are, in fact, the four reds. And that is the performance of the oil and water. Okay, so this is the tutorial of the trick. So I'm going to try and get different camera shots. I'm only using one camera, so it's going to be pretty hard to do, but hopefully I can do it. So... You take out any four red cards, any four black cards. I use the circles. Basically, I just use the six and the nines blacks, six and the nines red. Doesn't have to be in any order. And what you're going to do, obviously, you're going to turn the blacks face down. It could be black or red. It doesn't matter. But whatever packet you're going to start with, you're going to uh, turn these over face down. And you're going to buckle and uh, perform a Stuart uh, turnover from the middle. And I'll show you what that looks like first. So it looks like this. But this is two cards. And to accomplish that move, what you need to do, hopefully you can see this on camera, you need to buckle the uh, the top corner. So basically my left index finger is pushing on the pip. I'm pushing it down. So you should see like it's bowing. Okay? So again, your index finger is going to push down on that corner. What you'll see is the bottom has given me a break. So again, I'm just going to push down from this corner with my index finger, and my thumb is on the top right as well. And when you do that, you'll get this break. Now your right hand will come over, middle finger and thumb, will come and grab the corners of these three packets, or these three cards. And you're just going to slide the packet out, keeping your thumb here, and that's going to cause a double card. There's two cards here now. So again, you're going to uh, buckle it so you get to get this break. Your middle finger and thumb is going to hit the top right corner. Your middle, uh, your thumb on your left hand is going to stay exactly where it is, and your right hand is going to pull out. From there, you're going to execute the uh, Stuart Gordon turnover. And to accomplish that move, it is a bit of a tricky move. So the way I do this, so when you get into this position, your thumbnail is going to go down the card, the pips of the card, like this. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try and do it with two hands so you can see. So I'm going to come over. When I come over, my thumb is going to, my nail is just gliding down the pips, every pip down. And again, I'm trying to do it very slowly. 
It's a, it's a bit of a tricky move to do because you might get this. You might, when you're learning with Stuart Gordon, you might, when you're trying to go down, you might split the card, which you don't want to do. It just takes practice. If you can't do that, the only other thing you can do is do the exact same move. So buckle it, take the cards out, and just leave it around like so, and then hold the card into your hand. You just need to get in that position. Then when you've got that position, these two cards are going to go over, take one of the black cards, flip it over to show the nine, or the black card, flip it back over, and then flip the double back over. Then you're going to place them two down. Now you're going to mimic the exact same action. So, but you're just taking the single card. It's not a double, it's just a single card. You're going to turn it over. You're going to take the black card, turn that one over to show black, flip them over, and you're going to go red, black. So now what we've got here, let me just show you these four cards. You're in the, you should have this position, red, 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 black, or depending on which order you've done it. So now we're going to display this card twice, the bottom card. So to do that, your left hand's going to come over, slide the top card, and flash the nine, and drop this card down. Okay, and again, so red, and when you, when you show red card, you're going to slide the top card, drop it down, take the black card, flash the nine, the red card, and show the black card. So in order, you'll have this, black, red, black, 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 red, red, red. So now what you want to do is turn the card, well, do you know what, we'll go through that one more time, just so you can see it. So you're gonna do a Stuart Gordon, so buckle, slide the two cards down, this is two cards here. Do the Stuart turnover move, if you can't do that, just turn it over and hold it into your fingertips. Take one of the, uh, the red cards, flip it down, and then the black card, and go boom, boom. Do the exact same move, but it's from the center, so it's, you, you can't split this. You're gonna show red, black, black, red. Then you're gonna show the black card, but then what you're gonna do when you show the black card, you're gonna peel the top card off, put a red card down, show the black card again, and place a red card down. So it looks like it's alternated red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. So in this position, it's probably the best showing you from the behind. You're going to turn the top card over, but when you turn this card over, you want to get a break below the top card. So like this. So now you're going to pinch the card like so. So you've got you in this position, okay? You're going to use this card to leave it over for second card, and then this card is going to go on top. Do the same thing with the third card. That's going to go on top. Same with the fourth card. So now it shows you that the four reds are on top. What you're going to do now is basically push all these red cards, just push everything over like this. And you're going to grab these red cards in your left hand. But at the same time, what's happening is you're going to be placing this black card on top of this packet. So at slow motion... Looks, you'll see it exposed like that. And then you show these blacks. Okay. Do that again for you. Uh, get that set up because I was like that. Yeah. So now it shows all the reds. To show these cards, there's only three. You're going to push everything over into your left hand. And, and that card is going to drop onto the free card packet. So let's do all that at speed. So from that angle, so now you can see it, I'm going to go through it but at speed so you can see how it looks again. So, I'm going to, and I'm going to talk through the moves. So I'm going to show the four blacks and the four reds. Now I'm going to do the Stuart from the middle. Okay, so I've got two cards here. Take the red card, place the red card down, then the double, black, red. Do the Stuart, or it's a single card from the middle. Do the exact same thing and go black, red. 
Then I'm going to flash the uh, bottom card, but peel off the top card. Then place a red card. Then show that black card again. And then the red card on top. Close all them up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to push off the top card. But when you're pushing this card off, you're going to get a break below this card, the second card. Turn this over. You're going to pinch and pick up the two cards as one, like so. Then this card is going to flip over the other three red cards. So that's one. That's going to get placed above. It's the third one will get placed above and the fourth one placed above. And then you're going to place, it's going to look like you're placing these three or these four red cards into your left hand. But you're going to basically, you're going to just push everything off like you're doing an Elmsley count. They're going to go into that hand and it's adding that extra card on for the four blacks. So that is the first part. I know there's a lot to do with the Stuart Gordon and stuff like that. So it's not the easiest trick. So from there, where we're going to go is you're going to pick up your red packet, depending on whichever packet you use first, you do the opposite. So I forgot which one I use, so let's use a red. What you're going to do now is the exact same move, but we're going to perform a triple lift. So we're going to pull the card down and turn all three cards over as one. Okay, to show the red card. Then you're going to peel this card off. Okay, you just can't do this because you expose the other card. So you're going to risk kill when you take this card off and say, now we're going to try it with the black cards. This card now is going to go face down like so. So at speed, that will look like this. So we're going to try it again. We used the red cards this time, but now we're going to do it with the black cards. Okay, done. So you'll be in this position. What's going to happen is you're going to place a black card on top and you're going to do a, it's a four lift, so quadruple lift or it's not triple, <laughs> but you do the exact same thing, just buckle. It's very easy to do, just buckle that card and you're going to lift all these cards and turn them over and say black. Now you're going to take this card off, but you're going to risk kill again because you can't just take it off like so because you'll expose the red. So when you show this one, you're going to risk kill and say red. Then you have to keep your hand risk killed because if you don't, you're going to flash this card. So we'll do it again. This card is going to go on top. Then you can turn it over. Then you're going to do a double lift. Okay. Do a double. Black. The last one, you just take it from the bottom to show red. And then these are going to get interlaced with these thinking which are two reds, but really the two blacks. And then you can say whatever you'd like, magic, whatever, law, and they obviously uh, switch. So I'm going to do that at speed, that part again, but talk through it. So I'm going to do a triple lift. I'm going to risk kill. Say we're going to use the black. So that's going to go back on top. Place the black card on. Do another triple lift, or not triple lift, just one after that, but you doing all, three, all four cards at one. And go black. You go turn your you go turn this card over, but risk kill. Red. Place this back on top. Then you can show the card. This is a double. Black. Take the bottom card off. Red. So Dave just seen red, black, red, black. Now these cards are getting interlaced. Bango, it your turn black here. And all these turn red. So yes, that is the tutorial of this crazy oil and water. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it's not the easiest trick to do. It's not a self worker. There is a, a few moves you do need to learn, like the Stuart Gordon turnover. Uh, you need to be able to do a double lift. So it's not the easiest, I know that, but I just wanted to throw something else in and I haven't really done uh, much oil and water routines because I know a lot of magicians don't like them, but I think they're amazing. Like, if you are interested in more oil and waters, I can teach loads of oil and waters. But it's not everybody's taste, the oil and water. But I think this, personally, that last part, it just fries people. It really does. So, yeah, um, it is uh, Christmas in two days. So, all my subscribers, or if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, 
Wait till I see you. No, I'm joking. Uh, I want everybody, and I'm going to wish everybody a very, very happy Christmas. I really am. I hope you have asked for all the magic in the world. And if you do get any magic for Christmas, if you do, I want you to leave it, uh, leave a comment on this. Actually, no, 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 you won't do that. I will upload a video on Christmas Day. I don't expect you to watch it because you could be with family. So on the 25th of December, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video. I'll just do a quick trick and I want to see, I want everyone to comment down on that video of if you've got any magic for Christmas. If, I, I am, I'm very interested. So yes, I'm going to stop rambling on. Like I said, have a fantastic Christmas. Have an amazing time. Get drunk. Do magic. And get some video footage as well. If you're going to do some magic on Christmas Day at a party, and I think I'm actually going on a party uh, on the 29th. I'm going to try and get some video footage. And I'm not going to perform the tricks I normally do. I'm going to perform tricks that I do on this channel just to show you guys that they are good tricks and they work in the real world. But anyway, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.